Curvature pen tool inside of Blender. So first we need some curvature. So shift A to add uh, geometry and add curve, Bezier. It doesn't really matter. Let's go to the edit mode and we can delete it. And switch to the curvature pen tool. And easiest way how to use this tool is just simple clicking. So click where you want to your points to be created and you can you already created the geometry. You can adjust position of uh, vertices by click and dragging, which is very convenient. And you can also create curves by simply clicking on a path and dragging. So I can create these nice curves by click and dragging. I can also adjust uh, individual handles by selecting, selecting the node and click and dragging. Or the same way. Uh, by control clicking I will create a new point, so I want to create it here and here and then I want to adjust the positions of these points and adjust the position of the handles. Uh, I can also delete this point by again clicking on control clicking on them, so control click, control click. Uh, this shape will try to be the same as it was before. Um, if I have this problem of broken handle and I want it to be smooth, I can just double click it so this node is changed, so I can do that on every single one and then if I still want more adjustments I still can do it and now they are linked. That's the easiest way how to use this tool and let me show you how to use it even more. This tool can be quite complex, uh, it's very similar to the pen tool of the Illustrator or Bezier curve of the Inkscape. So let me show you a more practical way how to use it by tracing this uh, profile. So first you can create a point, so let's say, say I want it here, so I'm clicking and holding to create the handle also, so I'm creating the first vertices and also first handle. So let me do that and now if I click again I create a new, new segment but you can see that it's already curved because I created the handle on the other side. So I can continue with, uh, with the tracing until I get here. So now I want this place to be sharp but if I continue just by clicking you can see I get this unwanted curve. That's not what I want. I can double click on this point and it will be automatically changed to sharp point so I can click here and now you can see it's a straight segment. I can continue tracing uh, by going here and let's say I misclick here and I could undo or I could hold spacebar and just move it here and let go of spacebar and now I can continue uh, editing this path um, and I can still change my mind so let's say like uh, I think I this point I think this point should be further down so I can just hold spacebar and move it here and continue with the shaping so now uh, I can continue and let's say I'm happy with the path on the uh, of the handle on the left side, but I've, I know that this is too long for what I wanted to do on the other side So I can hold alt and change the size just of the second node on the second side So you see this one is long and this one is short because I hold it alt and this also hold the angle So I wanted to make it shorter and click here now let me continue and trace this. So let's say I wanted to make a sharp uh, sharp edge on this. Mm, but if I click here you can see I get this handle. So you need to click and then hold shift. And I created the sharp point. And again, I can break this if I hold shift and drag. So now, again, I'm holding shift, I'm moving it and dragging it. Right, I added some 
nice details into that part and by holding spacebar I'm moving this because I'm not happy with the position when, where I put it so let's put it here adjust the shape okay and adjusting this for the hair and let's continue with tracing okay uh, let's say that um, I know that I wanted to add more definition in this point so I want to add more one more point so I'm holding control and clicking on this position that created new point and now I can move it and adjust it as I go So now my shape is done and I can still adjust every single position of this, this silhouette with just this one tool. So I can select uh, and this gets pretty powerful if you add another workflow. So let's say um, I want this nose to be bigger so I can just uh, select it by pressing B, B select the nose, as for scale and you can scale it and you can also adjust the position and now you have a very huge nose this can get even better if we add for dimensions so let me just draw small script and demo you and one more feature if you change the type to the auto now if you just click we will automatically try to smooth the curve so it's cool for creating a curved surfaces so okay uh, so now I created uh, this small script which says hello I just need to I can still adjust everything and it will still try to make it smooth um, I can also add more points by clicking control click and it will if I double click it, it will convert it to the auto smoothing. And now I can show you how to make it even better by going into 3D. So I'm going out of the, this 2D mode and rotating uh, all of this text so it's not on the floor. And now I can start playing with the handles in 3D so I can just adjust as I go. I can also adjust it in uh, 3D space just by clicking and dragging and you can see it can get pretty cool very fast. Let me add some more thickness so it's more visible what I'm doing. Adding depth. Right. So now I can see better what I'm doing. Now I'm reasonable, reasonably happy with uh, the shape which I created and I can also continue drawing in 3D space so just click on the last point and click and drag to add more nodes to the to the point and also I can do that on the another side. Um, you can also combine this tool with the uh, radius tool and just adjust the radius of this uh, top size and make it kind of nicer. So, let's repeat what we learned. We can create geometry by clicking. We can also create curved geometry by clicking and dragging. We learned that we can break the handle by holding shift. We can change position of the node by holding the spacebar. We can change the side of the of just one handle by holding alt. 
we can make one side of the node sharp by double clicking it and we can make nodes move by double clicking on the node. We can also add points by control clicking and control click to delete the points.